I'm going to start. Hey, um, thank you for joining us. This is episode 29. Um, you guys have been with us for quite some time, and I'm very, very excited. We're on episode 29. This is a milestone. Um, there's a lot of things going on with Studio 41, with Revenue Records, with um, Trill Billionaires. As you know, we have been creating a lot of different businesses and have a lot of things going on. All right, I'm sitting here with Chief Havoc. What's up, Chief? It's Chief! Um, what's up? Uh, we just chilling. You know how it is. Getting this money. Um, I'm learning French, trying to uh, expand my knowledge. Uh, you know, I'm about to be done with my trade. So we're gonna see what happens. That is amazing, Chief. You've been doing a lot of great things. Um, so we have been promoting the first black hemp dispensary in Little Rock, Arkansas. It's called Hemp Gods. Hit us up, 510-898-6323. You guys can also get your rides. They're uh, five dollars for the first six miles, and then after those six miles, it's going to be fifty cents per mile. Um, we're not going to talk a whole bunch about me today. We're going to let Chief get in there and let us know what's new with him. Um, twenty twenty coming. Uh, I know y'all been waiting, so drop it. Everything in twenty twenty. I um got a few projects I'm coming with y'all for, um, just stay tuned, be aware, uh, you're gonna find me on all the major broadcastings, plus, um, definitely SoundCloud, not SoundCloud, YouTube, I might go on SoundCloud if y'all request SoundCloud. Okay, that sound real good. I heard you're supposed to be doing a few features, you got a feature coming with Almighty Kane, what's up with that? Yeah, I got a few features coming. Um, I got a few, uh, I got a few singles, but the features I think most important because that's not only my reputation, but that's somebody else's reputation on the line. And, um, you know, my sound, my wave is completely different than everybody else. So, uh, I feel it. Like, the other day somebody asked me, they said, who did you study to rap like who did you who did you do go after to make your sound i couldn't think of nobody i told him she was the only could think of me i was the only person that that when my sound came i was the only person in mind like i didn't go to one of my favorite rappers and mimic their cadence or i didn't go try to use their voice i just i used mine straight from scratch okay that's awesome now um another thing is that you are predominantly a plumber. Now I saw some of the work I'm that you did. I'm predominantly a rapper. Well, okay, you a rapper plumber. You also a businessman. Yeah. Um, I'm real proud of you, Chief. You know you got a lot going on for yourself, and I want you to just keep a strong mind and keep your head up and keep moving forward. I know it's a lot of different adversities and stuff, but when you get high, when you get raised to a higher level then you get met with different devils. And that's just what it is. Well, I like yeah. to say the enemy, but guess what? They devils. They got horns, red stuff, bad breath, devils. But we gonna give praise to the Almighty because you're a strong, young, intelligent, native Cherokee man, you know? Yeah, I got two things to say on that. Anyway, I'm gonna start off with what I was thinking ahead of time. We opened, I was in a uh, plumbing and uh. We got a new shipment in. My teacher last time I was there, he was still trying to spend his three thousand dollars or whatever that uh, he got. But the stuff money he did spend benefited me because um, I got to open up a new skill saw. I got to uh, open up some new drill bids. They pretty cool. I was really um, used as a as a. As a 
I don't want to say elaborate, but I don't want to say elaborate because we ain't know what happened. We ain't never used these tools before. And um, since I was there the longest, and I would be the next to complete, I guess I was using everything first and um, see how it'll go. It went good. I mean, they could have flew off and poked me in the eye, but that's what you wear safety glasses for. But I mean, you know, we was we professional, so everything went good. <laughs> That's good. What tools was it? What kind of tools did you use? It was a scale saw. It was a um, drill that just came with drill bits. It was a hacksaw. It was um, it was really some more PVC pipes. Um, it was some copper pipes. We got to solder some more. Soldering is when you mold the copper pipes together using hot metal and um. I can't remember what the thing is called. Well, since you mentioned soldering, uh, myself and DJ P. Trio, we was at the mall, and he was trying to get uh, get some letters soldered together, and we was looking for the perfect person to do that. Would you be a candidate for that? I'm a perfect candidate for it because I'm trained for it. I'm um, I know the safety rules. I teach people every day how to do it. So I'll be a good candidate for that. You just need the proper tools, the proper equipment, and the proper utensils, and the proper supplies. I can get it done. Well, look at you being able to go on ahead and get stuff done. I'm happy for you. Now, uh, I saw a sink that you had done. You had put in a, a garbage disposal, a sink, and all that stuff. Now, you know we can ready to be flipping homes in Georgia and stuff like that. That's one of our other billionaire missions. Uh, yeah, we use my sink and shop. I put together more than that. I put together a whole base. Um, when it comes to a bathroom, I hooked up the toilet pipes. I took apart, put back together a toilet. I um, put the pipes on the uh, tub. I put the pipes together for a sink and. Um, I repaired all of these things and like I said I showed people every day how to do it um, that's why I got mostly level threes most people only with level twos but I got majority level threes because I'm not only a student but I'm a teacher so to speak that's real cool oh but yeah we use my sink and shop we use my water fountain I put together a literal water fountain that people have to drink out of every day and um yeah, it even come with, you know how like when you go to a fancy place and they got some water bottle thing, you put the water bottle across from the top, mm -hmm. probably the only one with one of those. I'm going to um, shout out Cisco. Cisco put um, some new computers in our uh, in our classroom. We got some new computers. They really official. I like them. Okay. Um, we going to go ahead and say shout out to Cisco. They looking out for the people in the uh, job course. That's real cool. I'm very you know, uh, never mind. I'm very excited for people that actually in the in the business of still giving and helping, you know, because it's a doggy dog world, y'all. We're living in the last and final days. If you read Revelation, Revelation is gonna tell you what's going on right now. And what's going on right now, um I could quote some things because you guys I am a ordained pastor. I've been ordained ever since 2010 so I have the ability and the credentials to go ahead and teach and to give advice to do weddings funerals christenings and things of that nature but what I am going to say is that the last and final days are here you read revelations it's going to say mother is going to be versus mother I mean daughter is going to tell us that father is going to be versus son it's going to tell us that family is going to be killing one another and it's going to tell us that there's going to be plagues where water is going to be contaminated right now. Our water is contaminated. Uh, they putting things in them. You guys, I don't even know, you know, how safe it is for the water that we drink, but it's not cool. So what we got to do is put vitamins and minerals in our bodies, you know. So that's why I created a lot of the things I did create because I use a lot of antiseptics. I'm a herbalist. Everything that I do, I try to do it naturally. I try to find things that are going to help me.
that are equal to the pharmaceutical things that they give us because there are natural things that equal a lot of these pharmaceuticals that we are given. Um, we know that they push the pharmaceuticals on us so that the companies can get their residual income, but it's still not good for us. Um, we just got to be careful, you guys. We just got to be mindful of what we do with our bodies. Keep our minds and spirits in sync. Be safe. Cherish your body because it's your temple. And um, I want to talk more about queen consciousness. I want to talk about men being kings. I want to talk about princess, princes and princesses. Unethical monogamy. Oh, okay, unethical monogamy. Now, you know, unethical monogamy is when people quote unquote cheat. Now, what I promote is polyamory because when you are polyamorous and and that means with all knowing that means having multiple relationships with different people but all people are knowing so if all people are not knowing you're doing unethical monogamy and if all people are knowing and all people are agreeing and willing they haven't left and all of that stuff then it's pretty much just uh, a typical polyamory situation and there's so many different things in the ladder of polyamory, but um, that's going to be a whole nother segment. We did segment, uh, we did episode 27 about that, myself and Trill. Um, we're going to talk about it again. But yeah, unethical monogamy, that's a fancy way of saying cheating. But you know, here at Studio 41 and Revenue Records, we keep it real. Keeping it real with Tommy Trill is the name of the show. And you guys have been with us for a minute. We want you to like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, we listening to DJ P. Trill. We listening to um, Cold World. Hopefully soon we're going to be having some of Chief Havoc's music. 2020. Yes. So Chief Havoc is getting ready to be doing a whole bunch of different features. You guys keep your ears and eyes out. Like, subscribe subscribe and share um any last words um just stay focused stay true to the game um everybody not your friend everybody don't want to see you win all a man got is his word and his ball all the woman got is her self-respect okay that's true uh also here we promote self-image, self-respect, we promote um, positivity, and we want you guys to become billionaires, hit us up, you can email Tommy Trill, T-O-M-I-I-T-R-I-L-L at gmail.com, uh, I'm glad you guys are with us, today is a, a beautiful Sunday, we're going to go out. This is the day that uh, we usually go out and chill. So, I'm going to go on ahead and say peace, love, and happiness. And thanks for joining us.